Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Disciple and it's been a few weeks but I'm super excited to talk about my next topic today but first I actually wanted to show you this really cute um, sweatshirt from my friend in Los Angeles. She's making Christian um, clothing. Uh, this one says Prayed Up Millennial. Really loving it. It's cozy. I've been wearing it a lot at home. And the back of the sweatshirt has a quote but you're obviously not gonna really see it here but i will insert a photo down below of um or somewhere here of me wearing it i'm really loving that i get to support a christian brand it's literally the first christian brand i'm supporting believe it or not and um i love it i feel like it has a great meaning for our generation nowadays and i'm super pumped to be able to wear it today i don't know if i showed this in my last Digital Disciple. I don't know if I had my computer case yet, but I just got a new computer case for the computer that I got recently. And I think it's so pretty because obviously this is so my vibe, super girly, but also minimal. Today's topic is gonna be super important for me personally because um, like I said, all of my Digital Disciple episodes are things that I'm kind of like dealing with on a weekly basis, things that kind of touched my heart and things that I've been thinking about a lot lately. So it's pretty much just my journey getting back with God. And this one is something that I think most people can relate to. It's like, what is your purpose? And there's so many sermons about it, so many messages about this on the Bible, but I wanted to talk about my personal experience and how I've been kind of figuring that out and how I've been kind of tackling it on a day-to-day -day basis. Because everyone wants to feel like, you know, what they desire for their life would be something that God would be pleased with if obviously you do believe in God. So the first thing that I did was I asked God for guidance in my prayers. I ended up praying for faith in whatever direction I feel like God will pull me toward. The way that you listen to God's response and the way that you really get your answers from God is just it's from the Bible like I said many times before um, a lot of times people pray but they're not actually digging into the Bible and I think that's where you can really get a lot of clar clarity on what you're asking for I had to also make sure that I trusted God when I didn't understand yet like let's say I was praying about you know guidance for you know my life's purpose and I just didn't understand what it was yet. I had to keep being honest about that. Like if I don't understand, if I need more clarity, if you could say what's the purpose of someone's life, there's so many things. The world has a lot of amazing things that you can do like travel, your passion, your hobby. Those are things that I do for myself all the time. And I am naturally a very selfish person. So I don't think that that is some like to live for myself is all the time is something that god would be pleased with i know that a lot of what god talks about in the bible is helping others and making a difference in the world in any small or big way it's not just about self-centeredly living for yourself because i do that all the time anyway and and i wanted to actually balance out more of my intentions on how i live my life like i've been saying i do not believe that God's purpose for everyone's life is to live selfishly. It's not about your career or your hobby or um, anything that's like very self-centered. I feel like it's the con what you contribute to the world. And like I said, any small or large way, you can still contribute something to the world. So I'm now going to go through the list of steps that I have used to help me figure out what that purpose was. Reading the Bible definitely has helped me figure out a lot of those questions that I had internally. Is this something that is pleasing to God? Is this something that is more like a self-centered uh, desire? Every single day I pray before I read the Bible to let me have a really open heart toward what it's talking about. So the next thing I would say is it requires a step of faith. Whatever you feel like your life's mission is, for me, I know that the gifts that God has naturally given me that I know are the good sides. Obviously we're human, we have flaws, but the things that I know that are good about me, I know those gifts that I have and I know that God gives everybody those good gifts and it's really important to really hone in on what that gift you feel is. I honestly love being able to communicate to people that I don't know via social media or just that connection of it. I've been into social media for such a long time about like 
10 years ago was the first time I really put up a YouTube video. It just proved time and time again that there's certain gifts and certain things I desire and I could use it for selfish reasons, which I definitely have before when it comes to just putting up cute photos, which is not like bad, but I feel like I wanna add more of a balance to what I'm doing. So Digital Disciple was a really, really good way for me to feel like I'm giving back towards something for God. Because I am still learning with you guys, like I talk about all the time, but at the same time, there are things that I am learning that I feel like maybe could nudge somebody else in the right direction. And if I'm just a little nudge, then that's all that, that honestly means the world to me. Digging into what you think your life's mission should be sometimes can be scary. Like it's definitely was scary for me in the beginning to put out these YouTube videos speak talking about my faith because I'm very well aware that our world really isn't Christian based anymore and so a lot of the times I don't really see you know people talking about this and it was scary at first to think about putting things out there like this I don't want to run from it I want to be able to conquer it and to feel like I am doing the right thing for myself and for whoever watches it for watches my videos and there were thoughts that came in my mind like don't do it don't do it don't do it but you have to have that drive that even though what you feel like you want to do will scare you to still go for it i truly believe when you do what god wants you to do with your life things overall feel a little bit more at peace and i'm not saying that i don't get angry anymore i don't get frustrated or annoyed but i feel a sense of peace in the direction that I'm going. Whereas before, it just felt a little bit more all over the place. Going in God's direction and having faith that it is, it is the right step gives you an overall sense of peace that I think everybody should look for when it comes to figuring out where, where their life is headed. And a few tips that I want to say is that even though we do have free will, obviously don't be fatalistic where you think whatever happens is God's will. You know, there's a lot of times that phrase can be misinterpreted in, in different ways. And it's not to say that you're not going to make any effort yourself. And another little tip I wanted to say is that not to get frustrated. There are a lot of times that I see and I have experienced it before where I do things that I think is something that could be God's will. Um, and it's not. And I fall and I make mistakes and you're supposed to get right back up. Sometimes you do get things wrong, you know. We're just, we're just trying to function on faith at this point and sometimes you can make a mistake. And I truly believe that that will become clear as you're in that process. And, and you just get right back up there and just try to read the Bible and be more connected with God because honestly, the more connected you are with God, the clearer things do become. And at this point of my life, I feel like I'm on that road to being really, really connected with God, but it's still a journey. Like I, like there's still so much that I question and so much that I'm not sure about, but the desire that I have to make my life something that I feel like God would be proud of is something that is really important to me because in the past, it wouldn't even be part of what I would think about at all. I would be completely self-centered, everything that I wanted, I was going after and determined to get it, no matter what the cost. And um, now there's a different motivation involved. And I think that if you start to change your motivation, things will just fall into place. And I'm still figuring it out. These are just basic steps in order to help clarify things a little bit for you because it's been helping me. Last advice I wanted to give is don't criticize unfinished plans. For example, if you are communicating with God, yes, you're gonna be frustrated if things aren't happening right away, but don't criticize where, with the direction you're going in because you, you're, you might just be halfway there and you might think in your head that, oh, this is where I was supposed to be at and you're and you know, you get frustrated with it, confused by it, but you might just be halfway there. Like it's a journey. And so there's going to be many times where you want to get there already. You want to feel that sense of um, accomplishment. But at the end of the day, life is a journey. And a lot of the times you don't really know how long the journey is going to be or if there'll be a different part of your journey that will pop up in the midst of your you know, journey that you're on. So just don't criticize, just have faith. And that's really what it is. No, I have, I don't know exactly 
word by word what I'm supposed to do. But these are things that have been slowly helping me clarify what I feel is the right path. And it's things that I genuinely love to do. It's things I'm genuinely passionate about it, but the motivation might be different. So I think that's something that's important to realize is that you can still do the things you love to do. You have free will as long as it's, you know, something that God will be pleased with. And how do you know that? Read the Bible because there's very clear rules and very clear um, ideas of what God has for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment below if you have been on this path, especially during 2020, trying to figure out what the next steps of your life should be. And I really do hope you guys benefited from watching this and can um, learn some tips and also share with people that you feel like you kind of want to nudge toward the similar direction of being close to God. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.